Hi friends, welcome to the video lecture series on a data analysis with the help of Python. So in our last uh, couple of videos, we have seen about how this uh, data frame object and a series object behaves uh, inside the pandas Python library. So in this tutorial, we are going to see about the when you load huge amount of data, there may be a possibility that there is a couple of or couple of percentage of data may be a missing and those missing uh, data is something like a spam while you do for while you do for the first further analysis or you go for any kind of machine learning algorithm implementation on the top of data so it is must for you to filter out those data so in this tutorial we are going to see about how you can filter this data which is missing so for that purpose I have already uh, created this uh, sample uh, data set framework does uh, some of the dummy data I have created and we'll apply this filtering process on the top of this data so uh, let's start with the very first uh, data set which is nothing but a series data structure I have used before that let's just import uh, a pandas library we'll rename it to the pd so we can reference every function in a pandas as a pd and uh, there are a lot of places i have written actually nn np dot nn it is nothing but the not a number or a missing value so this is the special uh, symbols uh, it is available inside this numerical python library numpy so we'll import that library also so we can reference np dot nn as a not a number value just to signify a special symbol to signify that it's not a number so we'll import numpy as a np okay so we have imported this pandas library and a numpy now let's uh, create this data set and let's print it so this is the series data structure where i have given a value like a first one is a one then not a number then four five not a number and a six so let's print it okay so it has printed this d type it is a floating value and this is based on a in different instance of time these values are occurring this series data structure we'll see more into uh, our future lecture so basic common example of this series data structure is nothing but the the data you are observing at a various instance of time about a weather condition or various instance of time about the stock market whether individual stock going up or a down based on the different instance of time so you can uh, analog those data with this kind of example now let's see we have seen that out of this uh, total six values in, in this series data structure there are two values which is not a number that's why we have specially defined this nn with the help of this numpy library now suppose we want to drop this two number which is not a number because that is something like a spam for us actually it's a missing value how we can uh, drop this value so inside this series data structure we can apply drop na value so drop na is nothing but drop not a number value which all you just drop it so let's apply this so it has given us the four values only the first value is one the first index value which is not a number so it has dropped indexing is still preserved so 0 2 3 and a 5 so first value first indexing first and a fourth indexing it is not a number so it has dropped it so th this is about how you can uh, drop this uh, row level uh, dropping in a series data structure now let's see how you can do the same thing in a data data frame object so i have created uh, one sample dummy data in a data frame object so let's just import it and uh, let's visualize it 
how is that data so i have created uh, data which is having a total four records an individual record is having a three feature values so first row has a all three numeric value the second row has a first column is numeric value remaining two values are missing it's missing means not a number in a third row all values are missing in a fourth row first value is missing and second is uh, and third is numerical value now suppose we want to uh, apply this drop na function on the top of it and let's see what happens this drop na what it will do okay so it has given us output only one column a uh, one row sorry uh, the first row which is 5 2.9 and 8 all remaining three column it are uh, three rows it has dropped so why it is for uh, why it is doing all three rows it has dropped because this drop na function works like if any of the at least one value is missing across the whole record it will just drop it but suppose we want to apply uh, some kind of argument on the top of it that you drop this if and only if all values are not a number so in case of this third record all values are none so it will drop just those value only remaining all record which is having at least one value which is a numeric value even if all remaining values are missing it won't drop so let's see how we can do it so we can apply this data same of same function data one drop n a and we'll apply how is equal to all so it will tell that you drop only those record which is having a all value which are missing so let's see what result it has given okay so it has just dropped this record which is having a index 2 so third row which is having all value which is missing so it has dropped remaining all value even if it has a missing value it has not dropped because we have given this as an uh, argument so this is all about the row level dropping that uh, individual on a row we applied this uh, this drop not a number function now let's try to apply this on a column value so uh, if you want to suppose drop first column or a second column if there are missing data how we can do it so for that purpose i have already uh, created this data one uh, object so let's uh, just print this data one okay so data one uh, till now you are looking this uh, data one data frame object from the row point of view now let's try to visualize from the column point of view so across the column every column has at least one value is not a number so let's apply this with respect to column now to apply with respect to column you can use the same functionality but you need to apply one more argument which is nothing but the axis axis is equal to one so axis is equal to one is is a it will drop the data with respect to the column if you don't give this argument by default it's a row wise dropping so let's see what it will result so it has dropped all the column because in all the column it has found that at least one value is null now let's see uh, we'll apply this uh, how all with column so for the column we'll write this x is equal to one and how is equal to all so what it will do across all column it will search for those column only which is having all value will be not a number or a missing value and it will drop it but in our case all mm, there is no column which is having a all value will is missing so it should not drop any value okay so it has shown us all value that means no value has been dropped so this way just by providing one more argument based on the axis is equal to one you can drop the data at a column level 
if you don't apply this argument by default it's a row level and then axis will be equal to zero you can drop data at a row level so this is all about how you are filtering data across the all rows or all column now suppose we if you want to filter some of the cells based on some threshold only so very subgroup of rows and out of that subgroup also there are couple of columns only you need to filter then how you can do it based on some filter because in this case we have seen that either is just discard the full rows based on our all records or all arguments that if every record is missing you just discard the full rows or in if you don't provide any kind of argument we have seen in our row level stuff <coughs> even if at least one value is not a number it will just discard it so in this case it has discarded all the rows which is having at least one value is missing now in this filter based matter what we can uh, do we can apply uh, some kind of threshold that at least if one value is uh, available you keep it if at least two values are available you just keep it or if all three values are available at the row level you just keep it otherwise just drop it so let's just apply this with same we have a data one let's drop and we'll apply threshold so it's a trace so thrash is equal to one let's apply one and let's see what result it will come so if we haven't provided axis is equal to one or zero so by default it's zero so it's a row level filtering it will do and threshold is equal to one so we have provided threshold is equal to one so it has filtered it has kept all those column which is having at least one value is numerical value which is available so first record has all three value the second record has at least one value the third record has also two values which is available so all those record it has written which record has at least one value which is available at a row level now let's apply the same one with different threshold threshold is equal to 2 okay so it has filtered another one more record from us so it has written all those record which is having at least two values are available so the first record has all three values are available and this last record has a two value the intermediate two record has a only one record is having one value so it has discarded it and uh, one record which is having all values are missing so it has discarded it so in this way you can uh, filter based on rows or column or individual cell level once you uh, discard or uh, filter all those data you can go for a further processing which is nothing but the clean data so in this tutorial we have seen that how we can discard this uh, data how can we can filter this data in a future uh, lecture future video tutorial we'll see uh, if suppose want to fill this data with some of the value if these data are missing suppose we want to provide some default value we'll see into next lecture so thank you guys for the watching i hope you enjoy listening this video please do like comment and subscribe it